In this lesson, we'll learn how to password protect a document. You can limit access to a PDF by setting passwords and by restricting certain features such as printing and editing. However, you cannot prevent saving copies of a PDF. The copies have the same restrictions as the original PDF. Two types of passwords are available, document open password and once the document is open, you have permissions password. Permissions password, also known as master password, requires a password to change permission settings. Using a permissions password, you can restrict printing, editing, and copying content in the PDF. Recipients don't need a password to open the document in the Reader or Acrobat. They do need a password to change the restrictions you've set. If the PDF is secured with both types of passwords, it can be opened with either password. However, only the permissions password allows the user to change the restricted features. Because of the added security, setting both types of password is often beneficial. To start this, you could just come out once the file is open and choose File, Properties. Once on Properties, you could go to the Securities tab and start in this drop-down right here. Another method is to go to your Tools pane or your Tools panel and look for the Protect tool. When you click on this, under More Options, you'll want to choose Security Properties. And this takes you to the same Document Properties panel we were had open just a moment ago, except you're right here on the Security panel itself. From the drop-down, I could choose Password Security, Certificate Security, or Adobe Experience Manager Document Security. And all of these three are more complex as you go along. I'm just going to choose Password Security. Before I start, I will come down to the bottom under Options and I will choose the level of security that I want applied uh, with my password. By default, you will encrypt all the document contacts, but you could also choose to encrypt all the document contacts, ex contents except the metadata, such as the user who created the file, the owner, the title of the document, keywords, and the like. I could encrypt only the file attachments and leave the rest of the document completely unencrypted if I chose this option. I'm just going to leave this as the default encrypt all document contents. I have two passwords I can apply. I can require a password just to open the document, or I could apply a password that once the document's open, I can restrict what is allowed inside the document. I'm going to choose the second permission set. Under Printing Allowed, if I click the drop-down arrow, I can choose None, I can allow them to print in low resolution, or I could choose high resolution. I'm just going to say None, so they won't be allowed to print. If they hit File Print, nothing is going to happen. It will not print. Keep in mind that there is nothing to keep the end user from taking a screenshot of the document and then printing the screenshot as a graphic. So keep that in mind. It's not completely secure. Under Changes Allowed, the default is None, No Changes Allowed. But I have some other options out here as well. I don't want to allow them to insert pages, delete pages, or rotate pages. How about filling in forms and fields and signing existing signature fields? If I plan on using this document as a email attachment for form, I might set the security down and then go ahead and just say they're only allowed to fill in form fields and sign existing signature fields. If I were sending the document out for review, for comments and markup, I could go ahead and allow that and nothing else, or I could just allow total control of the document except they wouldn't be able to, able to extract pages out of the document to save those as new PDFs. I'm just going to leave this as the default. If you enable copying text, images, and other content, they would just simply be able to grab that content and place it in another document, so I'm going to leave that off. There is this setting that is checked by default, and this would help out people who are visually impaired. It enables the text access for screen reader devices. So even though they wouldn't be able to go out and edit the document whatsoever, uh, their tools for reading would be enabled and they would be able to, to hear the, uh, the document through their reader. Next, I'll come down and enter a password for editing the document. I put in my password and it looks like Acrobat likes the results. 
um, I could come back now and require a password just to open the document. I have my password set and I'm ready to go. Now, just a note here, since I'm using two passwords, I could open the document and open it for editing at the same time just by editing this password right here. I don't need to use both passwords. If I'm going to go right in and edit, I can just give it this password and it'll let me uh, fly. But if I only use this password, I'll still have to enter this password next to get in and edit. So I'm all set to go. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. It wants to confirm that I remember the password to open the document, so I'll type that in. And I'll click OK. I get this little warning that comes up and it says that if I try to open this document inside of InDesign or Illustrator or any of the other Adobe products, it will require the password to open the document. However, if someone with a third party product that's maybe a little off market, um, it won't require the password. They may be able to get in. So use some caution here. It's not a perfect world, but um, they're just giving you a warning and a heads up about that. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now it's asking me for the permissions password. So the first password I typed was of this guy. Now it's going to want the password I set over here for this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that now. And I'll click OK. And just one final warning here about how the document won't be completely secure and locked down until I close and save the document. So I'll click OK. I'll click OK. And now I'm back in my document. Now, notice up at the top, it says Executive Summary, which was the original name, and now it says that the document is secured. I'm going to go ahead and choose File, Save As, and I'm just going to give this a new name so that I don't damage the original. And you could choose whatever you want, but I'm just going to put the word Secured out there, and I'm going to click on Save, and now up at the top it says Executive Summary Secured, and it tells me it's a secured document. I'm going to go ahead and close this down and I'm going to go ahead and open up that file again and it asks for the password. I'll type in my password and click OK and it allows me to open the document. Notice the print icon is grayed out and if I go to file you can see it's grayed out here as well. Let's see what happens if I try to edit the document. I'll come out to edit PDF and it's asking for my password and I'm just going to ignore it. I'm not going to give it a password. I'll just say cancel. And if I come out here and try to type over the top of this, this whole box is completely grayed out. I can't make any changes at all on this. How about if I come out and try to add some markup? I'll come out here and I'll click on, uh, well, my toolbar is completely grayed out. If I try to apply a stamp, like approved, it won't even let me click on it. So this document is locked down for editing and until I give it that password for uh, permission to edit I won't be able to use it. I'll just be able to read it. To remove security I could come back out to the protect tab and under encrypt I could click the drop down arrow and choose remove security. Now you're going to need the password to remove the security. So I'll type in my permissions password. That's the second password and I'll click OK and it asks me are you sure you want to remove the security? I'll click OK and now let's go back out and see what I have. So if I come out to edit it looks like I'm able to make changes to editing as well. So uh, that's how to remove the um, security from the document. If I close and save the changes to the document, now when I come back out here and double click to open it up, you can see it doesn't have in parentheses the word security anymore because I took the security off and it doesn't ask for a password to open and it doesn't ask for a password to edit as well.